Hello and welcome to David and Betsy's somewhat inflammatory diet. How's it going, David? It's great. How are you? Um, we kind of fell off the rails, didn't we? Uh, not really. Sort of. Not really. So this past weekend, so, so you know because we um, posted a video last week on Wednesday and now it's Sunday um, that we're getting kind of back on track, but then Friday... At 3.30 a.m., we got up and we caught a plane to Boston. Mm -hmm. Started out really well. Got to the airport. Thought, what can we eat that's pretty healthy and not processed? And coffee. Not inflammatory. So we got some coffee and we got some oatmeal. We did with dried blueberries, which were actually pretty good. They were, but it wasn't perfectly anti-inflammatory. But we're not trying to be perfect. But the blueberries had sunflower oil and some sweetener. Had no idea. Right. So it's one of the things that you'll find if you're trying to do this when you are not home is that it's really hard to travel and get food that is not processed if you're not preparing it yourself. Mm -hmm. So we start out really well with that oatmeal. And then we arrived in Boston and we were starving. So we ate. Well, I found a coffee shop you did. that had really good oatmeal apparently. That's not what we had. But I didn't get the oatmeal. We we had a yogurt parfait. Oh, that was pretty good, though. It was good. It was plain yogurt. Well, it wasn't pretty good. It was good. It was It had very fresh bland. berries, and it had homemade granola that was heavily sweetened. So, again, you know, homemade, not processed, but heavily sweetened. But we tried. But what were you in it? We were trying. I think that was a successful meal. Fairly. And then we went and we sight saw, did some sightseeing. Mm -hmm. And then I had a cheat lunch. And then we were starving because we had walked a lot. And we had to eat at a restaurant. And there weren't a lot of healthy options. But it was a restaurant where George Washington had eaten. That's and true. And Paul Revere. And it was, one of, it was called the Warren Tavern. It was very delicious. Great clam chowder. For sure. And you had said, it's okay. We're going to have three cheat meals per mm -hmm. week. So this is one of them. It was a definite cheat. Which was fine. I had a chicken sandwich. I had a burger. And I ate a lot of chips. I admit that. Mm -hmm. But it was good. But the problem was, as the weekend went on, and we kept having these little indiscretions and little... And, and actually, really, it's really difficult when you're not at difficult. home to stay on a healthy diet. And then we had breakfast at the hotel, and that was provided. Well, dinner, though, that night, we had a chicken... We had a Caesar salad or we something. We did have a Caesar salad. And then you... I tried to be good. I ordered a cheese plate... And they were out of the freaking cheese. They were out of cheese. They were, so I had to get them off my mozzarella sticks. So we got sticks. mozzarella sticks. That was good. It was still cheese. I think that was a cheat. But it was hard. They were out. I, I tried to be good, and they were out of it. And then we got up in the morning and had hotel breakfast, and I tried to be good. But again, the, when the options are very sweet bakery muffins and bacon and... I had scrambled eggs and some potatoes which i could have done but i don't eat um eggs on a buffet they weren't that good but the That's coffee why. was okay yeah so then i was like well what's the next best thing to eat and i ate raisin bran which is loaded with sugar but it was fiber so i guess the point is there's a couple points here it's really really hard to adhere to a strict plan when you're not in your natural home environment and you can try, but you have to decide how much you're going to allow yourself to get off track. Mm -hmm. And then we got home today, and um, we haven't had much sleep because we've been getting up at 3, 4-ish in the morning for a few days. And that makes it hard, too. Then we had pizza. So we had pizza. That was good. Because I didn't want to cook, and you didn't want to cook. And we didn't even have groceries until you went to the store. So tomorrow's a fresh day. Start but fresh. you know what? That happens. It happens. People get off track. We get derailed. But we still were. I think we were quit. still cognizant, though. You can though. still be cognizant. Don't quit. Get back up. Try again. If you started off the new year really well, and now it's <laughs> five days in, and you're already Maso, slipping a little bit. Mas o menos. It's okay. You can do this. You got this. Get back on track. It's a new week. It's a new week. All right. We'll check in with you later this week.
Bye.